Hey, I'm Maurus Riedweg. I'm the owner of Consultier, a software development company in Switzerland. And my message to you is uh, just start your dreams, right? Start it today and start it now. Awesome. Take talk. Let's talk. This is the Mitten Shah Show. We've asked the same seven questions to entrepreneurs from all over the world to figure out what makes us tick. Take talk. Let's talk. Um, welcome. Thank you very much for coming. Thanks, Mitten. Thanks for the initiative of doing this. Uh, awesome. Um, if you can name company's name and how would you explain what your company does to a seven-year-old child? Right. So I'm um, Maurus Riedweg. I'm from Switzerland, uh, born and raised, um, trained IT engineer. And we basically help our clients to become the digital leader in their fields. That's okay. what we do. Right. Um, what well, poker you started? I believe my, my stronger inner drive for independence, that's what it really was back then, right? I just had a main aim of you know doing my things, things myself without a boss and just, I just started off. That, that's how I did it. Okay, nice. Um, in this journey, what are some of the things that kept you up at night and what made you jump out of bed in the morning? So what keeps you up at night, certainly troubling, project, troubling projects, right? That's a thing we all have but never admit, um, probably except for EO people. And that also with inform. <laughs> with inform for <laughs> confidential. But that's what it really is, right? Yeah. You always have those uh, projects who doesn't go along as, as you wish, but for many reasons. Um, and th 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 what really keeps me up at night, that part is this, sort of this thing you try to avoid. On the other hand, what, what really makes me excited is teamwork, right? If you manage to achieve something as a team, um, if I see people progress mostly, uh, that's one of the biggest satisfactions I, I actually pull out of the whole thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's, it's the things holding you back that keep you up and it's the progress of moving forward that makes you jump out of bed. Right. Yeah, sweet, sweet. Uh, what do you know now that you wish you knew when you started on this journey? Back then, uh, when I started, that's now 11 years ago, right, I actually thought I, I, sh I have to have partners, right. Back then I onboarded uh, two guys rather quick. Um, they're not operational and I think that was sort of my biggest mistake, right? Okay. Um, the lack of self-independence of doing that all myself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, that's interesting you say that because the reason you started was that you wanted to do it by yourself, but then for yeah. some reason you felt that you needed partners to be able to follow up on that. Yeah, and it really comes down to self-esteem, probably also some part of it uh, experience-wise, right? Back then I was 28, um, it's all relative, but yeah. by the time pretty young, you know, jumping yeah. in the cold water, so I actually thought, okay, uh, they may, may be of help. Now one of them actually was, to a mm -hmm. large extent, he mm -hmm. became my mentor over five years, uh, until the moment the thing really took off and then I was sort of decision, you know, why, why should you keep them on board if at the end this is your merit of, of doing it. Yeah, cool. Um, if you can share some of the mistakes you've made on this journey that others can learn from. Right, so probably that, that was the biggest mm -hmm. in terms of ownership, um, however it has large implications, right? If you do that alone, it's all you, failure, success, um, if you start to onboard people, you have a lot of other implications along the way, such as uh, you have, you know, you want to keep them in, in the info flow, you want, to, well, on the, on the upside, uh, you can, you know, mirror important decisions. Uh, on the flip side, then when, it, when there is the payday, you have a lot of discussions as well. Mm -hmm. um, and I still think that was, to a part, the biggest mistake, part of it, one guy was a lawyer, uh, that was the the one which didn't work out really, right? The other guy was an entrepreneur himself, and this was the one which worked out. But I believe that was the, the sort of biggest biggest mistake. Mm -hmm. So so that's uh, partnering up with people who don't have the same vision and values? Right, and yeah. the challenge in that is, you, you know, when you start, you, you don't know that. This is, you know, particularly if you start from scratch, uh, first time entrepreneur, that's the thing you just don't know, right? Mm -hmm. You start to, explore yourself to a large extent um, and uh, I think by now I'm much more reflected than back then mm -hmm. and that's part of the story so you essentially do not know uh, you know whom, whom you're on board yeah, by the yeah. time you do it. Uh, looking back at your journey now what are some of the points that you've been most proud and happy about? 
Uh, a number of things. Um, one of the things is uh, we um, are on a software develop company in Serbia, right? Serbia is still a developing country. Um, when we started five years ago, we were probably in, in the province, we were one of the, or probably the most um, serious company back then. Now all the bigger players also moved in. And I think that that thing I made, which makes me proud, right? We have now over 40 employees and the social impact you have in a country which is still re recovering more to a certain extent uh, is massive, right? It's not just your direct employees, it's, it's their communities and so on. And part of the thing we do is also to work closely with the community, with, with university um, there, even with, um, you know, Rubia Trails, right, where you onboard younger girls to learn coding. And I think this is where we really have a, a social impact and that sort of very satisfying, right? Mm -hmm. You can't really do that in Switzerland in the, in the field I work in, right? Mm -hmm. We're too saturated and, yeah, mm -hmm. it's been a bit too long way. <laughs> Um, if you had a billboard and on this you could put on any message that you wanted, what would that message be? Let's do it. <laughs> nice. Simple as that. Yeah. Um, when I talk to people which are not, not the entrepreneur, that's really holding them up, right? Their fears, their doubts, um, instead of just trying it out. Yeah, yeah, nice. Um, how has EO made a difference in your personal business, family or community life? A number of things. Um, I think number one benefit I had, um, and I'm still super uh, excited because that's the biggest step. It sort of made me much, much more reflective person, right? And with that comes resilience, mm -hmm. particularly private life, and you have to go over your personal uh, defeats, right? Um, uh, forum helped me big time. Yeah, yeah. I think for me this is what it is. You know, number-wise, pre-obvious, I started six years ago, back then we were probably, um, I think we were 20, now we are overall over 70 people, right, so that speaks wow. itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marcus, thank you very much. Cool, thanks. <laughs>